Hello again, everybody. It's been a while since the case has been posted, so this is a good basic case to uh, restart with. This case is useful for juniors, but it's also extremely important for seniors to uh, refresh these basic concepts. So this is your typical chest radiograph in a patient who presents with cough where you're looking for features of pneumonia. In many cases, the consolidation or the wide opacity related to pneumonia is clear, but in others, such as this, it might be a bit difficult. If basics are applied correctly, such difficult cases are usually not missed. So let's start by the basic concept number one. The first concept is the borders on chest radiographs should be very clear. For example, if you have two different colors, two different densities of two different structures that are adjacent to each other, you should see a clear border. Let's take the cardiac border, for example. Because the heart is white and the adjacent lung is black, you could see a very sharp border in between. The same concept could be applied to the diaphragm or the mediastinum, and you could do that on the right or on the left. If you have pneumonia, Presenting as a white opacity or consolidation adjacent to the heart or diaphragm, such borders would disappear. This disappearance of normal borders between two white and black structures is called the silhouette sign. Silhouette means that there is a dark shape in front of a white background. To make it simple, it's a shadow. Now let's apply the concept to all the borders that we see. If you look at the mediastinal borders on each side, they're very clear. The cardiac borders on each side are very clear. However, if you look at the diaphragmatic border on each side, that's not true. Let's take the normal right side. So on the right side, you have a very sharp and clearly marginated diaphragm. Now let's look at the left side. Although difficult, but applying the concept, things become easier. You can tell that the lateral border of the diaphragm or the outer border is very clearly marginated. However, this is not the case medially. The outer border is clear. The inner border is L-defined and looks irregular compared to the lateral border. And when you compare left and right diaphragms, you could tell that the right diaphragm is clear. The left diaphragm is not so clear here. Now to concept number two. For you to lose a border that should be normally seen, the abnormality should be in an adjacent structure. For example, the left upper lobe is adjacent to the left mediastinal border, while the left lower lobe is adjacent to the left hemidaphragm. So the second concept we're talking about today is basically knowing anatomy and locations. Knowing that the lower lobes are adjacent to the diaphragms, this tells you that this opacity is in the left lower lobe. So in this case where pneumonia is suspected clinically, if you apply the clear border rule and the anatomy of locations, you could tell that there is a left lower lobe pneumonia. This is a CT scan on the same patient. Uh, typically pneumonia is a clinical diagnosis plus minus chest radiographs. CT was done here for other reasons. For juniors, you're looking at the patient from his feet. This is anterior, this is posterior, this is right, and this is left. And as we scroll down to the uh, left lower lobe, you could see that this is the left upper, this is the left lower lobe, and this is the fissure separating them. As we scroll down, you could see the consolidation that's large and heterogeneous, involving the left lower lobe and confirming what we saw in the chest radiograph. To summarize, Whenever you look at a chest radiograph, one of the things that you have to assess is the clearness of the borders. If a border is not clear, that denotes a silhouette sign, which takes you to concept number two, knowing the anatomy of location. In this case, you know that the left lower lobe is adjacent to the diaphragm, 
and by that you did not miss a tough case of left lower lobe pneumonia. Thanks for watching and see you with more cases later.